Previously on Gladden TV. So every four years, we hold a popularity contest regionally. We pick the person that is most likable on television, more or less regardless of their values. We know nothing about them, so they could be a person playing a role. And then we assemble these people into a large group that gets to decide who lives and who dies every day. So, you know, don't assume that because the new stuff is weird, it's any weirder than the old stuff. The old stuff is just weird stuff you got used to. So, I was thinking, this whole election thing that's taking place, or scandal, conspiracy theory that's unfolding before our very eyes, is a game changer. For a moment, right? Imagine if Trump was able to provide proof to what he's saying. And it's true. What this does is open up a can of worms. This naturally upsets the natural balance of things, at least here in America, right? You see, people and around the world pride themselves on numbers, you know? This is why we say clever things like, oh, women lie, men lie, but numbers don't. If this cabinet is able to provide proof that this presidential election is a scam? Kaboom, right? You see, the conscious people of the world know that numbers can be manipulated. We know it's rigged, and the people who's rigging it know that we know. But, remind you, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. We preach this here in America, right? Listen, these people have a plan for us. Will it go that far? Will, they, will there be a big scandal leading back to past, previous election years? I mean, like I said, this opens up a can of worms for a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Such as uh, how much gold do we actually have in, Mount, uh, in, in Fort Knox? Uh, who's actually the majority and who's actually the minorities? I mean, these statistics, I mean, are they factually true? I mean, are they made up? Because all the information is given to us by who? I'm not going to say our government, but our government. You know, like how many rich people are actually here in America? And let's just say bank statements, the bank books, uh, how much money is actually coming in and out? I mean, there was a big scandal, if I'm not mistaken, that revealed that damn near every bank across the world allowed a lot of illegal activity to go on. You know, it opens up a can of worms. And that's no good, you know, because things have been going great for the last 200 years. And why will we, if it's not broken, why fix it? I'm being sarcastic, by the way. If we want change, actual change, this is something you gotta dive into because this is the heart of what damn near every country, like I said, prides themselves on, numbers, but it's not transparent. This is why blockchain technology is so revolutionary because it can't be manipulated, right? This is why. And from what I read, Ethereum and EOS, apparently they're using blockchain technology to get the results from this presidential election. But I'm confused because I know blockchain technology doesn't take fucking 30 days to get results. So, yeah. But yeah, y'all, besides that, just buy as much as you can for as little as you can. Why? Because you won't always be able to buy these cryptos at the current prices they are today. And remember, what you won't do, the next person will do. And I guarantee you that. Um, the market is not doing too bad. 
the most I believe this week it was is, was around 464 billion overall. Bitcoin hit 14,000, hit 15,000, almost hit 16,000, but it didn't. Um, I'm sure a lot of the coins, altcoins, Bitcoin is going to continue to climb. And don't be afraid of the volatility. Just hold on. Hoddle. All right. See you next time.